guess my memories of my childhood in Hong Kong is um, a lot of legs. When you're short, that's kind of all you saw. And it was very sunny, so uh, hot and sunny. I think that's how I remember my childhood in Hong Kong. But there was also great memories like my dad's record collections. So when I was little, I actually can't recall myself uh, meeting anyone with albinism. Um, well, actually one of my classmates uh, had albinism, but that was later. When I was really young, I think about five, six, uh, my three sisters, they came home from school, still in their school uniforms and all excited and said, look who we, you know, just guess, guess who we saw today. And I thought, oh, probably just a movie star or a singer. And they said, we saw a girl who looked just like you. You know, she had white hair and she had like fair skin and she was so tall and slim. <laughs> and they were so excited. And I thought, oh, okay, so probably I will be all right. I will also be tall and slim when I grow up. <laughs> Recently, I was in a shop and a shop assistant came up to me. It's a tall guy, you know, muscular. And he came up to me and said, excuse me, I, have, I really have to ask, what's this? And he gestured towards me, what's this? What gene pool is this? Uh, well, I have to sort of quickly figure out what to do, really. Um, in some ways, I don't think he meant any harm. It wasn't pleasant for me. I don't think that would be pleasant for anyone. I mean, you can ask yourself, is that all right to say to someone for albinism? And I look Chinese. Is it all right to say to someone just because I don't look like him? I just heard about this designer um, who is very open-minded and a bit crazy. Uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier because he made dresses for men, skirts for men, I thought. So I was quite lucky. Uh, it was good timing, I think, for his then um, coming collection. It was, uh, it, the inspiration was sort of Tibetan, uh, Mongolia culture. So I fit it right in. And that's kind of how I started my modeling. I hope for for myself and for other people with albinism is, um, I mean, these are things that a lot of people can relate to. I think a lot of groups in the society can relate to. I mean, just equality, respect, tolerance, and a bit of kindness. I think some people think kindness is sort of like patronizing, but I don't think so. The world would be so much better if we all can show a bit more kindness. Don't fence me in. Let me be by myself in the evening breeze. Listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees. Send me off forever, but I as you please don't fence me in